Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the episode of Finishing Blow. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. This week was crazy, but awesome in every single way, shape, and form. So I want to kick things off with a trailer for a movie called Bullpen Fight Club featuring Gary Daniels. Now, I don't know if I'll actually have the embed up here in the corner for you guys or not because it wasn't a different video player. So I may have it, I may not. Don't get too crazy if uh, it's not there, but you should definitely check it out. It's on my actual article that I have on my website, but it's a really cool well done trailer um i don't want to say the concept is super original because it's not it's a retired mma fighter gets pulled back into the underground um you know something like that so it's a tried and true setup for a movie but the way it's done it's just set up so well that i think it's going to be a really solid film and i think you guys should check it out if you like action movies if you like martial arts i think it's going to have a little bit of everything so gary daniels definitely on fire this year and you guys should definitely give it a look and see what you guys think all right, moving on, though, we do have an announcement that there will be a Jackie Chan International Film Week at the Shanghai International Film Festival starting next year. Now, even though it's named after Jackie, it's not necessarily focused specifically on Jackie. It's going to be about advancements in technology for martial arts films. Um, you know, they're going to showcase different movies. Obviously, Jackie Chan's films will be in that, but it's not going to be specifically Jackie Chan-centric. Now, the thing is, it may... S it like when I was reading it, it seems like it's going to be more Chinese film centric than anything more than Jackie Chan in general, which is great. But I hope they take the time to um, give nods to other films and other genres around the world, you know, um, like like the Raid 2. I, I hope that they would do something like that and talk about how it's changed or shaped the the uh genre that we know and love today so that would be cool i don't know if they're going to do that or not obviously they're going to be focusing on the chinese aspect of things which is cool maybe it'll give them a kickstart and say hey we need to catch up to these guys we need to do something different which is always a good thing you always want some competition you don't want people resting on their laurels you don't want people getting comfortable with what they do because if they get comfortable they're not growing and you know things go stale very quickly especially in this industry so Check it out next year, uh, Jackie Chan International Film Festival. All right, on the weirder side of things, I don't know why this is happening. I still, my brain cannot wrap itself around this, but Journey to the West, Conquering Demons, the Stephen Chow film is being remade for an international audience. Now, it's an Eng English language remake, but they did not specify whether it's a Hollywood remake. I don't think it is. I think it's just going to be in English, but still... It doesn't make any sense for a number of reasons. One, that movie was Stephen Chow's film. If he did not make it, it would have just been any other Monkey King film, which makes me think that this isn't necessarily a remake. It's just another Monkey King movie. So I don't know why they're trying to link it to that. Unless it's going to be shot for shot, scene for scene the same, then why are you even making the movie? I don't understand that. But Stephen Chow really put in his ideas, his comedy into it now i i love the movies where he's in it i did a review for this uh journey to the west film sorry my brain is just like going at 100 miles an hour i did a review for the journey to the west film i was not that impressed with it i mean it was okay it had a couple shining moments but nothing like the caliber of shaolin soccer or kung fu hustle or even cj7 if you really want to be honest and I don't know why they're remaking it. I, th I think that the international audience, unless you're really tapped into Asian history and Asian tradition, you're not going to know a lot about the Monkey King. So there's not that base. There's not that fan base, that appeal that Asian audiences already have. They know who the Monkey King is. You know, you've got freaking like Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball. Sorry, Goku is based off of the Monkey King. And so you already have it infused into everything that's in that culture. And I don't think... Uh, an English language remake is really going to push that in the right direction. But, you know, never say never. It may be good. It may be terrible, but it is happening. And that's just something we're just going to have to deal with. So there it is out for you guys. Let me know what you guys think, though. Should there even be a remake of the so-called Stephen Chow Journey to the West Conquering Demons film? Let me know in the comments. All right, moving forward, something a little bit more awesome and a little bit more entertaining is the Ruona Kenshin teaser um i did a very quick article about it translated it for you guys on my actual page so be sure to check that out it's pretty much the same thing except a little bit of it the ending is a little bit different but still gets me hyped for the movie definitely want you guys to check it out all right skipping forward though we're going to talk about the yakuza apocalypse got some images and a detailed synopsis about this now this movie 
I'll be honest with you, I'm interested in it because Yayan's in it, and he looks beastly. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting. Takashi Miike is doing the directing for the film, and he has this tendency to do things very uniquely, I guess is a good way of putting it. Um, some of the things that he does is really gory and really violent and just really off the wall, and other times he does stuff that's a lot more subtle. Now, you know, I don't know how this movie is going to be, but the fact that Yayan's in it makes me really interested in it. The synopsis, you'll have to read for yourself. It is a detailed very detailed synopsis so if you read it don't be upset about the spoilers because i'm guessing there's some in there it, it covers pretty much everything but be sure to check it out if you're interested in in that movie or if you like takashi Miike, i think you guys will be very very excited to see what's going to happen in that film all right and lastly for you rain fans out there we have the trailer for the prince now I'll be honest, I was slightly disappointed by this because they did not feature Rain the way that I thought they should or the way that I thought they were going to. Now, Bruce Willis obviously is a big name, so is John Cusack, but, you know, there's Rain fans internationally, just around the world. People are excited to see Rain back in action. This is not his first film since he's come back from his military leave, I guess you could call it. Um, he did do uh, Return to Base, I think was a Korean film that he made. I still haven't seen that one yet. But it is, I think, the first time he's come back to Hollywood to do a movie. Now, Ninja Assassin, love it or hate it, Rain gave it his all. He did a good job with what he was given. I'm not going to go into a rant about Ninja Assassin, but he did a good job with what he was given. So... I really wish it would showcase them a little bit more, but the trailer's there. Check it out. It's, it's uh, again, the plot is nothing super special, but it's going to be the that core cast of characters and how they interact with one another that's going to make that story really shine. So I'll let you guys know more about it as soon as I find out, but for right now, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. Lastly, though, we did a review for The Monkey King with Donnie Yen. Now, I figured it was fitting, given the fact that they just did a remake or announced a remake for the Stephen Chow's Conquering Demons, that I would do a review for The Monkey King. Now, this movie was really, really interesting. Um, there's a lot of people that are very polarized on this film. Some people love it, some people hate it. And I was just curious about it. I try, I think I've said this before, but I try not to read or look at any reviews before I do a review for myself because I don't want those ideas or concepts to impact my personal opinion. So, and that's exactly what a review is. If you think a review is unbiased, then you haven't read any reviews because everybody has some kind of bias in them, whether it's the, the upbringing that they had or the preferences they like in comedy, anything like that, it's gonna be different. So The Monkey King, it's a mixed bag, I'll be honest with you. It's a really, really mixed bag, and I tried my best to explain that in the actual review, so hopefully you guys take the time to read it. Let me know what you guys think about it. But that's really everything I had for the week. I'm still trying to get everything figured out. Um, I, uh, some of you guys may know that I have a Let's Play channel, so I've been doing Let's Play videos and learning new software for that, which hopefully I can take that knowledge and bring it into the finishing blow and the fight of the week and things like that. So. I still got to study some software and figure it out, but hopefully we'll have some good things coming here soon. And I've got some a lot more content that I want to work on. I need to bust my butt and get it going, but with so many things happening in the week, I just haven't had time. So forgive me for that, but it's just, I'm going to try and get you guys content on a daily basis, uh, whether I post a review or the finishing blow. If I can, right now it's kind of a struggle but I'm gonna to try to so that you guys can continue to have content that you guys enjoy, whether you like these videos or not. So anyways, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are really the best. Um, the, the responses on the, on the Facebook and the comments that I get on YouTube, you guys are just absolutely amazing and I appreciate everything you guys do. But that's all I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Kay Miller and this week has been finished.